welcome to kgbv online classes good morning students my name is varlakshmi physical science crt i am working as kgbv kamadur today 10th class fourth lesson refraction of light at curved surfaces top sub topic is lenses what is lens a lens is formed by transparent material is bounded by two surfaces of which one or both surfaces are spherical lens is bounded by at least one curved surface students different types of lenses bioconvex lens bioconcave lens plano convex lens plano concave lens and concave convex lens students first one is bioconvex lens lens may have two spherical surfaces bulging outwards such a lens is called double convex lens or bioconvex lens bioconvex lens is thick at the middle as compared to edges double convex lens a double concave lens is bounded by two spherical surfaces curved inwards bioconcave lens or double concave lens is thin at the middle and thicker at the edges so students observe the pictures to understand structure of plano convex lens plane concave lens and concave convex lens students each curved surface of lens is part of a sphere center of the curvature the center of the sphere which contains the part of the curved surface is called center of curvature the center of curvature is denoted by c a lens contains two curved surfaces then their centers of curvature are as c1 and c2 students radius of curvature the distance between the center of curvature and curved surface is called radius of curvature radius of curvature is denoted by r radius of curvature r represented by r1 and r2 students principal axis and pole lens the line joining the points c1 and c2 is called principal axis the midpoint of thin lens is called optic center of lens or pole pole is denoted by p students next focal length of the lens what is the focal length of the lens a parallel beam of light incident on a lens converges to a point as shown in figure a seems or to emanate from a point on the principal axis as shown in figure b next the point of convergence or the point of from which rays seem to emanate is called focal point or focus Every lens has two focal points. The distance between the focal point and the optic center is called the focal length of the lens. It is denoted by F. Draw a ray diagram for lenses two more points in addition to focal points. F1 and F2. So these points are equidistant from center of the lens. and also equal to double 
the focal length 2f1 and 2f2. Ray diagrams related to using symbols with concave lens and convex lens. So students, how does the lens form an image? Lens forms an image through converging light rays or diverging light rays. Behavior of light rays when they incident on a lens. We discuss five situations. Situation 1. Ray passing through the principal axis. It is not deviated. Situation 2. Ray passing through the pole. It is also undeviated. Students, situation 3. Rays travelling parallel to the principal axis. They are converged at focus or diverge from the focus. Next one is situation 4. Ray passing through focus. It will take a path parallel to principal axis after refraction. Situation 5. When parallel rays making an angle with principal axis fall on a lens after refraction, they converge at a point or appear to diverge from a point lying on a focal plane. In this figure, these are focal planes. I will like to refine what is focal plane. A plane perpendicular to the principal axis at the focus. Okay, students. Next, rules to draw ray diagrams for image formation by lenses. Take convex lens. What is lens? Convex lens. Focal length is 20 centimeters. Lens holder, screen, candle to be used as on object for convex lens. Mark position O, F1, 2F1, F2 and 2F2. Light the candle. Observe S1 object at infinity. The rays coming from the object at infinity are parallel to principal axis and converge to the focal point. Image real and inverted highly dimensioned formed at a F2. Take two laser points. Direct the laser beam from the top of the object towards the lens. Check how laser beam meet on screen after passing through the lens. This is how the convex lens forms the image of the object on the screen. Repeat the laser activity again in the dark mode. Just like these two laser beams infinity light rays from the object. After passing through the lens meet at a point to form the image. Next case 2. Object behind 2F1. Object is placed behind the center of curvature. Image is a real inverted and dimensional image. Is formed on the principal axis between F1 and 2F1. Now pass the laser light over the object towards, towards the lens and observe the laser beams after refraction through the lens. Meet on the screen where the image of the candle is formed. This shows how light rays from the candle meet on the screen to the form the image. Repeat the same activity in dark mode. 3. Object at 2F1 Object placed at the center of curvature is 2F1. When an object is placed 
at the center of curvature to F2. On the principal axis, a real inverted image is formed at 2 F1, which is same size at that of the object. Now pass the laser light. Just as these two laser beams which meet a point, repeat the same activity in dark mode. Students, case 4. Object between 2F1 and F1. So, object is placed between center of curvature 2F1 and focus F1. We will get an image which is real, inverted and magnified. This image will form behind 2F1. Now, pass the laser light over the object towards the lens and observe. Repeat the same activity in dark mode. Next, case 5. Object at F1. When an object is placed at focus F1, the image will be at infinity. The image real and inverted highly enlarged now pass the laser light over the object towards the lens after passing through the lens the laser beams will emerge parallel this parallel beams appears to meet at very far away distance students last one is case 6 Object between F1 and O. If we place an object between focus and optic center, we get an image which in virtual, erect and magnified. Formed on the same side of the lens as the object. So, students, Observe the no real image obtained on the screen. Virtual image is obtained on the same side of the lens as the object. A divergent beam is obtained after refraction through the lens. Repeat the same activity in dark mode. Students, observe the figure. Bye. Thank you all.